Hey everybody, welcome back Superman Crypto. We're going to have another look at Titan X. Uh, it will make you rich. Uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. Let's get into it. At the moment, we've got a bit of a pullback in the price. This was expected. There's no real surprises here. Uh, this is currently five zeros, 2,585 is the price. Uh, US dollars, of course. And that is where we are at the moment on a down day here at the moment. Now, we did expect a down day on the 1st of January uh, with a massive 1.1 trillion uh, Titan X coming out. However, Jake uh, put out some pretty bullish New Year's uh, news around uh, Hyper uh, with Liquid and Stake. So that uh, ended up a lot of people ho holding, uh, not selling their Hyper, uh, their, sorry, their Titan X down. Uh, but that has kind of caught up with us with the inflation that's coming out. Now, we are on a relatively low day uh, for inflation. So uh, it's pretty important to take that into account. Let's have a quick look at the community dashboard. We can see those numbers that we've got coming out at the moment. And, of course, we can see here. Uh, day 68, we've got 661 uh, billion. And then uh, tomorrow, we've got the low day. This is the lowest day pretty much in January, uh, at least leading up to the nine-day payout. That's day 69. That's coming up tomorrow, 589. So if the price were going to rebound, it's kind of in this uh, time zone, sort of the next day ahead. Uh, so just take that into account. So, uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. And uh, so the price is kind of reflecting that large volume. When we go to check out the stats on the stats page, we can see that we've got over a trillion uh, in liquid supply. Remember, that was down pretty much between high 200 billions and uh, maybe f low 500, uh, half a trillion there. So that's kind of where we are. We're twice that at the moment at the top of the range. And that's uh, a lot of people holding liquid there, maybe speculating on a hyper news. Of course, we're expecting a white paper out any time. So that's kind of the play at the moment. Now, obviously, uh, we've got some uh, prices here, 1.3 million liquid at the moment. Price is down 15%. Some people will be buying into this, trying to uh, top up their staking percentages. Obviously, that's been diluted as, P as uh, all this liquid stuff's coming out in January, which was well known ahead of time, right? So if we go a bit further afield for the next 30 days, we can see that we're leading up into uh, the 18th there for the 28-day payout, followed by the 24th there with the 90-day payout. Um, so we've got two big candles, 2.6 trillion there. And uh, 1.9, I suggest a lot of that will be staked, but of course, there's also a lot of volatility, and there's always some whales out there that are willing to sell down the price. So that's going to play on the 15th. Looks like we've got a pretty good opportunity there 1.5 trillion, and that might be uh, a low point in the price. We'll see how we go versus the day 28 day payout coming up a couple of days later. But that is kind of the play there at the moment. Now, the buy and burn, of course, is burning pretty well. Let's go have a look at the trend here. The last buy and burn 3.3 ETH. Uh, was burning uh, 2.79 billion uh, Titan X. So that is burning a lot of Titan X. You can see it's doing about seven buy and burns an hour. Uh, we were up to, I saw uh, just over 3 billion at some stage uh, when the price was a bit lower. So we'll see how we get on there. ETH price has fallen, right? So uh, the purchasing power of that buy and burn has dropped, uh, you know, about $200 versus where it was. It was up around 2,400, getting down to 2,200 after that big pullback. That's kind of the play there at the moment. So in any case, there are some opportunity, always opportunity, uh, when the price goes down to buy some for staking shares, if that's something you want to do. Now, looking at the payouts for staking, uh, we can see at the moment on the eight day, and this was expected to be a relatively lower day, but, you know, it's ticking away pretty nicely. 458,000 in there so far. And, of course, we're just heading up to day five out of six. Uh, sorry, day five out of eight. Uh, so we are past 50%. Uh, once the day finishes in about five hours, uh, will be, uh, you know, uh, five days through on an eight-day process there, so over halfway. And the 28-day at the moment has got $2.1 million in it, and that's pretty, looking pretty tidy. And the 90-day is looking really juicy, up almost $5 million. That's going to really rally as we lead into that, right? That's going to have a lot of bullishness uh, as we come into that period. So as we come into here, uh, we're going to have a lot of ETH go through the system, like we did in the last double-day payout. Uh, it's going to be fun to see that play out. Right, so that's some of the cool stuff happening there with the payouts looking really juicy. The buy and burn uh, sitting at 18.7 million, obviously come down with the ETH price. And uh, we've still got 8,454 ETH in there, so still doing pretty well. And I think that's all going to top up once we get up into the 28-day uh, period here. And, of course, the 90-day, so it's going to be fun to see that. Uh, looking fun, fun, fun. First 90-day payout, it's going to be pretty glorious. So that is kind of the numbers there at the moment. Obviously, we've got the V1 as well. Still got their, that money sitting there also. Looking pretty exciting. Now, uh, let's quickly go to the mining. If you're going to look at mining at the moment, 
Uh, the base rate is currently 6325000 with an EAA bonus of 8.09%. That's going down by about 25000 per day. Just remember that. And by the time we get up to uh, the uh, the, 20, the 18th uh, for day 90, was it, day 84, uh, we will be, I think it's day 80, yeah, 84, 84. Uh, we will be uh, at six million on the base rate for miners, so it really does go down pretty fast. That's probably the fastest thing that's moving against you is the volume per miner. Uh, just take that into account with your uh, with your mining strategies. All right, uh, so that's kind of cool. Looking at Titan Watch, Titan Watch is a pretty awesome site. It's been really evolving very very well. Titanx.watch, and uh, it's by Amin Shamoon there, doing really good. He's added so much more information to it. Obviously, you can see all the latest miners that are being done at the moment and their returns. But he's also done stakes as well. You can check the stake tab, and it's got all the stakes that people are making, uh, the latest stakes as well. So you've got the latest miners, the latest stakes. You can also search by user, paste your address in there, and see all your ROIs. Really, really cool, including staking. And, of course, it can tell you whether you've uh, you know recovered your principal and how much you're earning as well with your ROI. So it's a really, really awesome site. Definitely check that out on a user there. It's also got a letter as well, so uh, you'll be able to see a letter of things coming up. So looking very good. Looking further afield, our whole complete uh, global mining. Uh, you can see it out the back here. It's pretty cool. Uh, opened up now into October uh, the 8th or 9th, I should say. So people are sort of mining out there. But people are doing still doing a lot of short mining as well. Uh, and, of course, in anticipation of Hyper coming up. Uh, I think once we get through January, uh, we're getting into the February period. And maybe we'll get Hyper somewhere in the February there. Obviously, 6% done was the code. And so there's more work to be done there uh, with Hyper. Uh, we're seeing uh, something like 10 other projects now we're going to build on top of Hyper. There'll be a very quali varying quality. I saw Pyro come out. wasn't impressed by that at all. Uh, certainly not meeting the Jake, the Jake Sharp standard. Remember, trying to uh, only uh, consider a project that's really up at the same standard that Jake's kind of setting uh, up in that ballpark. And hopefully he's talked about that sort of stuff and it's got audits. Uh, use your common sense there. Don't just go for anyone uh because it may just be you know a bit of a uh, a cash grab so you gotta be careful you're getting in a good protocol and that being said uh looks like there's gonna be many others up to 10 or so uh launching on the protocol which is super bullish for the ecosystem it turns it from an ro protocol into an ecosystem and that could be super bullish as well adding to the the uh already cool stuff coming from hyper we're expecting soon so we're expecting that white paper any day now it's gonna be fun now let's quickly look at the buy and burn just quickly because it's looking good too uh, we can see that we're burning around about four, 464 billion uh, on the 3rd of January. We've been as high uh, on the 31st up at 496 billion. So it's kind of uh, eating through some of the inflation, um, but that's kind of where we are at the moment. You're going to need liquid, of course, for the liquid hyper. Let's take that into account. Uh, so uh, inflation will be king in the future uh, and just the way it goes at the moment. Uh, so that's some of the really cool stuff happening there. Uh, just trying to think if we've missed anything. I think that's everything so far. Definitely uh, the miners, they get the inflation, capture the inflation. That is kind of part of the key story there. And uh, yeah, wait till scarcity comes in with Hyper and other, the other 10 protocols and many more. And of course, uh, if ETH goes on the bull run, uh, the value of ETH and that buy and burn is going to go up, up, up and away. So you're going to get supply off the market and you're going to get a uh, huge demand onto the uh, price of, of Titan X, including liquid buying for the liquid Hyper and other protocols. And up, up, and away, that price could really start taking off. But if you've got no tight necks or inflation or even hyper, then you'll be out of the game, right? So just remember that as we move forward. So very exciting times. All right. I hope you enjoy that one. That's one way to get uh, riches, obviously, to playing this game well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and bye for now.